A drone attack was launched on Russia's Moscow region in the morning of November 10, local telegram channels reported. According to the report, drones heading towards the capital Moscow hit two residential houses in Ramansk and caused fire. Several cars were also damaged. One person is said to have been injured. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin said that 32 drones moving towards the city were shot down. Flights at Moscow's Sheremetyevo, Nukovo, Domodedovo and Zukovsk airports were delayed due to the drone attack. Осколки, осколки, прежь голову! Под крышу, под крышу, под крышу! Пизду! Под крышу идите! Иди сюда, кнопа, кнопа, кнопа! Кнопа, иди сюда! Иди, друг, сюда, под крышу! Фу, я себе, блядь! Фу, блядь! Ёбаный в рот, а! Охуеть можно! Блин, Светин дом сгорел. Сосна загорел, короче. Сосна загорел, короче. Вот. Прилетел к нам. Фу, бля. Заебались разгонять автомобиль. Вот он летит, ебаный урод. Охуеть. Это второй. Вот взрыв, еще один пошел. Это второй над нами. Охренеть. Вон он пошел. Давай съебать отсюда. Воробьебывать отсюда, короче, поехали мы. А прямо, а первый прямо у нас от головами пролетел. И пошли взрывы. Валим, валим мы, короче. Вот так вот, над Липкина уже летает. О, слышишь, взрывы? Тувошки работают. Смотрите, ребята, смотрите. Смотрите, парни, прямо над моим домом летит, падла, блядь. Только что не бросили два беспилотника нахуй. Только что, блядь, вот это все от, от одной ракеты, блядь. Вот это все.
Images of the explosion that took place as a result of a Russian drone attack on Odessa city on the night leading to November 9 have been released. According to footage published on Ukrainian telegram channels, a strong explosion and fire occurred after a Shahid kamikaze drone hit a residential building. As a result of the attack, one person was killed and 13 others, including two children, were injured. As a result of the drone strike on the city, two high-rise buildings were damaged, and a large number of cars were burnt and damaged. <laughs> Раму все вынесло, нахуй, вообще. Главное, что дом не загорелся. Машины все горят. Вот окон куча выбита, здесь стенки вон повылетали, но наружные. Дальше все пока вот так, ну пожар сбили. The scandal with the Russian authorities' admissions of deliberately utilizing a significant portion of Russians has reached the international level. The British publication The Times drew attention to the statements of the Russian Duma deputy Alexander Borodai about soldiers Russia does not need who are dying in meat assaults. Putin's ally boasts that his troops are meat, the publication writes. A Russian MP boasted that Moscow uses Russian soldiers who had no social value to trick Ukraine into sacrificing young, strong, healthy soldiers in battle. Alexander Borodai, a lawmaker from Putin's ruling party, said men fighting for Russia in the war with Ukraine as irregulars were seen in Moscow as expendable or spare men, calling them meat, that needed to be ground up in battle. There are many Russian irregular units operating in Ukraine, also known as volunteer battalions or brigades, whose fighters usually sign short-term military contracts with the defense ministry, regional authorities or state-owned companies. Salaries are around 250,000 rubles a month, much higher than the average salary in Russia. Borodai himself commands one of these units. From the point of view of the people in suits, these people do not represent much social value. They are usually older, right? They are not productive members of society, says Borodai, who previously headed the so-called DPR. They are bought like meat. He added, Borodai said that the task of these irregular units is to wear down the enemy forces as much as possible, while the rest of the forces in the rear are preparing for the main offensive. Just wear them down, you understand? No one expects any stunning or even small victory from these forces. These are simply human resources that are being spent. Borodai later confirmed the authenticity of the recording. In an interview with Russian television channel RTVI, he said his comments about spare people were rather harsh, but true. However, he said that as a commander of an irregular unit, he also considered himself expendable. I don't exclude myself from this circle, he said. The ultra-nationalist media outlet Sagrad said Borodai's comments reflected the reality of the average Russian who has few prospects in peacetime. He can buy a little bit of a good life for his family only by selling his own and only life. The outlet wrote, Let us recall that this is not the first time that Russia has spoken disparagingly about its own army's soldiers. As reported earlier, propagandist Vladimir Solovyov complained that schools are raising cannon fodder rather than warriors. <laughs>